Welcome to Archaeology News. Today, we take a journey through the remarkable discoveries of renowned archaeologist Dr. Zahi Hawass. With his passion and dedication, Dr. Hawass has reshaped our understanding of ancient Egypt. Join us as we unravel the hidden mysteries of history. Prepare to be astounded as we count down the 11 most amazing discoveries by Dr. Zahi Hawass. In the realm of archaeological wonders, few have left a mark as indelible as he. His pursuit of uncovering Egypt's ancient secrets has captivated the world. Prepare to be awestruck as we explore some of ancient Egypt's marvels. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and then the bell icon to get instant notifications of new videos. First up, we have the discovery of the tombs of the pyramid builders at Giza. In 1990, a chance incident near the Sphinx uncovered an old kingdom cemetery. Over 600 individuals, including overseers and laborers, were buried here, offering glimpses into the past. Another remarkable find was the mud brick barracks where the pyramid builders resided. This challenged the notion of slavery, suggesting national service or feudal obligations. The cemetery showcased Ta Shepsesu and his wife's resting place, adorned with pyramid construction materials, stepped domes, miniature mastabas, false doors, and stele paid homage to the deceased. Egyptologist Zahi Hawass guided this extraordinary journey, revolutionizing our understanding. Next, our expedition takes us to the western desert where an incredible treasure trove awaits resurrection. Now let's move on to number 10, the discovery of the Valley of the Golden Mummies at Baharia Oasis. In 1996, Dr. Zahi Hawass and his team embarked on an expedition in the western desert in which he discovered this sacred site, dating back 2,000 years to the Greco-Roman period, unveiling over 250 well-preserved mummies and more than 10,000 estimated in total. These mummies showcase diverse burial styles with gilded masks, waistcoats, cartonage, and linen-covered bodies offering a glimpse into different customs. The discoveries also included numerous artifacts, shedding light on the lives of the thriving civilization of around 30,000 people during the Roman era, known for its prosperous wine production industry. Up next is number 9, the discovery of Queen Sesheshat's Pyramid in Saqqara. This remarkable find dates back approximately 4,300 years and stands at a modest height of 5 meters today, but once reached an impressive 14 meters. It is one of the largest and most intact subsidiary pyramids in the area. The excavations unveiled its 72 square foot base with a typical 51 degree pitch, showcasing the elegance of ancient Egyptian architecture. Inside the burial chamber, the team found a linen-wrapped mummy believed to be Queen Sesheshet herself, providing conclusive evidence of her identity and highlighting the influence of powerful women in ancient Egypt. This discovery pays tribute to Zahi Hawass's commitment to unraveling the mysteries of the past and showcases his remarkable contributions to archaeology. Earlier this year, Dr. Hawass stunned the world once again with a groundbreaking discovery that rewrote history. Coming in at number 8 is the discovery of the world's oldest mummy. Dr. Hawass led an excavation in Egypt's Saqqara necropolis, unveiling the oldest and most complete mummy ever found. The tomb of Hekeshephes, adorned with gilded gold leaves, captivated the world with its ancient allure. Two other tombs from the Old Kingdom era were also discovered, shedding light on the thriving ancient Egyptian civilization from 2500 BC to 2100 BC. Treasures such as statues, amulets, and a remarkably preserved sarcophagus provided valuable insights into ancient Egyptian customs and beliefs. Excavations near Luxor have enriched Egypt's archaeological heritage with the discovery of burial sites from the New Kingdom era and remnants of a Roman city. Advanced CT scans by Cairo University scientists revealed fascinating details about the social status and adorned amulets of a mummified teenage boy, deepening our understanding of ancient Egyptian society. Continuing our exploration, we now arrive at number 7, Discovery of the Lost Golden City in Luxor. Prepare to be amazed as we unveil the extraordinary find, a city lost in time, the fabled lost golden city of Luxor, also known as the Rise of Aten. 
Dr. Zawi Hawass takes us on a journey to Luxor, where an ancient city emerged during the search for Tutankhamun's mortuary temple. This incredibly preserved city dates back 3,000 years to the reign of Amenhotep III and offers invaluable insights into ancient Egypt life and culture. It ranks as the second most significant archaeological discovery after Tutankhamun's tomb and reveals bustling activities like baking, brickmaking, and artifact production. The Lost Golden City provides a unique window into the past, shedding light on daily life and societal structures. Additionally, it may hold the key to understanding why Akhenaten and Nefertiti moved to Amarna, altering Egyptian history. Ongoing investigations promise further revelations, enriching our understanding of this magnificent ancient city and its significance in Egypt's grand tapestry. Moving on to number 6, Discovery of the Hidden Corridor in the Great Pyramid of Giza. Earlier this year, a sealed-off chamber and hidden corridor were discovered in the depths of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Using modern scanning technology, a 30-foot-long and over 6-feet-wide corridor was detected above the pyramid's main entrance. This discovery echoes a similar finding in 2017, when a 98-foot sealed corridor was revealed. The Scan Pyramids project started in 2015 has played a crucial role in these breakthroughs, employing advanced techniques like ultrasound and ground-penetrating radar. Explorers are now delving further into the newly discovered chamber, where two large limestone blocks raise intriguing questions about what lies behind them. The ongoing exploration of the Great Pyramid continues to captivate experts as they unravel its mysteries of construction and purpose. Number 5 brings us to the astonishing unveiling of Queen Hatshepsut's remains. In 2007, Dr. Zahi Hawass achieved a breakthrough by identifying a long-lost mummy as the legendary queen. Queen Hatshepsut ruled Egypt in the 15th century BC, disappearing mysteriously from historical records. The mummy, discovered in 1903 in the Valley of the Kings, underwent extensive testing, including groundbreaking DNA analysis. The positive results from bone samples and a molar tooth found alongside the queen's embalmed organs strongly confirmed the identification. Zahi Hawass led the search, establishing a DNA laboratory in the Cairo Museum's basement and collaborating with an international team of scientists. The significance of this finding rivals that of King Tutankhamun's tomb, re-establishing Queen Hatshepsut's rightful place as a powerful pharaoh and influential patron of Egypt's architectural projects. Up next, we have number four, the discovery of King Tutankhamun's family secrets. In 2010, Dr. Zahi Hawass made groundbreaking discoveries about the renowned pharaoh's life and death. Using DNA mapping and extensive research from 2007 to 2009, astonishing revelations emerged. Tutankhamun's parents were siblings, a common practice among Egypt's royalty, and he had only one set of grandparents. The tests also revealed his physical challenges, including malaria, a cleft palate, and a genetic bone disease. His father was identified as Akhenaten, the heretic king who introduced monotheism. While his mother's identity is still being investigated, Anxanaman was confirmed as his wife. Two fetuses found at Tutankhamun's tomb solidified his lineage, shedding light on his personal history and providing crucial insights into the genetic makeup of ancient Egypt's pharaohs. Once again, modern medical science played a pivotal role in unraveling the secrets of the past. Next up is number three, alleged discovery of Queen Nefertiti's mummy. Once again, Dr. Zahi Hawass has made a stunning claim that he and his team have found Queen Nefertiti's long-lost mummy in the Valley of the Kings in Luxor. While excavating, Hawass came across unidentified mummies that he conducted extensive research, by which he managed to connect these findings to none other than Queen Nefertiti herself. She played a crucial role in establishing a monotheistic society dedicated to the worship of the sun god Aton, challenging the traditional veneration of Amun. However, skepticism remains among archaeologists due to religious and political factors that may hinder the confirmation of Nefertiti's tomb in Luxor. Nonetheless, if Dr. Howis's findings are proven, they would shed light on the mysterious history of this influential queen and restore her forgotten legacy in ancient Egypt. Coming in at number two, Zahi Hawass's incredible 2019 discoveries in Egypt. In Luxor, 
Howas led an expedition that uncovered an unknown ancient industrial area in the West Valley, revealing a tailor-made clay production oven, a laborer's water storage tank, and captivating artifacts like a scarab ring and golden objects adorned with Horus's wings. This excavation in the Valley of the Monkeys may hold the long-awaited tomb of Anxanaemon, in the East Valley, the largest exploration since Howard Carter's time is underway, aiming to uncover unexplored tombs, including those from the 18th dynasty. Notable discoveries, including tomb construction tools and artifacts from Tutankhamun's surroundings, have already been found. Dr. Howis unveiled these extraordinary findings at a highly anticipated press conference in Luxor's West Bank, captivating officials and the world. And now, at the top of our list, the discovery of Queen Neat's funerary temple. This discovery was a remarkable archaeological marvel uncovered by Dr. Zawi Hawass and his team. This temple, adjacent to King Teti's pyramid, has revealed 52 burial shafts with remarkably preserved wooden coffins from the New Kingdom. Adorned with intricate scenes and inscriptions from the sacred Book of the Dead, these coffins provide insight into ancient beliefs guiding the deceased to the afterlife. Among the treasures found, a four-meter-long papyrus unveiled Chapter 17 of the sacred book, while a limestone stele depicted the immortalized family of Ka Ta and Temuia. This discovery also shed light on Egypt's trade relations through pottery fragments connecting Egypt, Crete, Syria, and Palestine. Additionally, a buried mud brick shrine, 24 meters deep, remains a mysterious treasure awaiting further exploration. Queen Neat's funerary temple and its wonders have elevated Saqqara's importance, drawing tourists and scholars. Dr. Zahi Hawass's dedication solidifies his legacy as a distinguished Egyptologist, unearthing fascinating stories from the past and fueling the enduring fascination with ancient Egypt and archaeology's pursuit of knowledge. And there you have it, the splendid journey through the remarkable discoveries of ancient Egypt. From the hidden corridors of the Great Pyramid to the captivating lost city of Luxor, we owe it all to the unwavering dedication of the extraordinary Dr. Zahi Hawass. If you enjoyed this adventure and want to continue unraveling the mysteries of the past, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. By joining our community, you'll never miss out on the latest discoveries and extraordinary civilizations. Let's honor the legacy of those who came before us and celebrate the enduring spirit of archaeological discovery. Together, let's keep exploring, keep learning, and keep embracing the wonders of our world. Thank you for joining us on this incredible expedition. Until next time, remember to stay curious and keep discovering.